Good morning, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host as usual, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute Fortify Vitamins, here each and every Saturday morning live to answer any and all questions regarding your vision and eye care. So if you're new to the program, who's Dr. Lang? I'm a board-certified optometric physician. I'm also a certified nutritional specialist, uh, the founder of Lang Eye Care and Associates and Lang Eye Institute. I've been hosting Ask the Doctor since April of 1993. And sitting next to me um, is actually Dr. Karen Heck. Uh, she's a Ph.D., and she is with Astoreal. She's a scientific affairs manager. Um, and next to her is uh, Mandy. She is my managing director for Fortify Vitamins. She's my right-hand man, so to speak. And uh, then to the left of uh, Mandy is Heather Richardson. She's the senior sales manager for Ask to Real. Ladies, thanks for being guests on Ask the Doctor. Thanks for having us. My background is in biochemistry and molecular biology. And then I did my postdoc on algae at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Washington State before joining Astoreal. And I'm happy to be here talking about algae to um, everybody and how it can help your health. Fantastic. And so in a nutshell, can you tell our listeners a little bit what actually is astaxanthin? Yes. Astaxanthin is actually a really important nutrient that's found in nature. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's the most powerful one found in nature. It's 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C, 800 times stronger than CoQ10, and it's a red pigment that's made by this algae. Astaxanthin is not only a potent antioxidant, but it's also a potent anti-inflammatory. And this is one of the reasons I, I really hooked on to it years ago and started incorporating it into our eye formulas uh, because many of the eye diseases that, that we see on a daily basis at the Lang Eye Institute are related to inflammation and oxidation. When you think about it, aging is oxidation of the body or rusting of the body and inflammation. So if we can take certain foods or supplements to combat against aging, I mean, that's a win-win situation. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the phones. Good morning, Dr. Lang, and your support staff there this morning. Good morning, good morning. The reason I'm calling this morning, Dr. Lang, uh, my wife has fallen uh, again, and it seems to have intensified the cramps that she has in her feet. Will magnesium alleviate those cramps if she gives it enough time? On the muscle side, you know, as we age, we do tend to lose some muscle mass. And actually, astaxanthin has been shown to help with that problem. The way astaxanthin works is it gets absorbed in the gut. It goes through the circulatory system and gets carried to all of the tissues of the body. But where astaxanthin really shines is as a mitochondrial nutrient. The mitochondria are the energy-producing parts of our cells, and muscles have a lot of mitochondria. So by going in there where actually free radicals form, damaging free radicals that can cause muscle damage if left unchecked or if they're present in excess, astaxanthin can specifically target and neutralize those free radicals and help protect your muscles. And we have muscles in the eye too, don't we, Dr. Wayne? Oh, absolutely. The ciliary muscles in the eye um, are very small muscles, and that's where astaxanthin has been shown in many clinical studies to improve the focusing ability and the accommodation. And that's another reason we use this on all our patients at just about any age. Get your wife on astaxanthin. Get her on the Fortify Focus pill to help with her muscle endurance and muscle recovery and help with circulation. Before we go to the next call, Dr. Heck, where can we get astaxanthin in our diet? Let's say somebody just doesn't want to take a vitamin or supplement. So because astaxanthin is a natural nutrient, you can find it in a lot of uh, marine life occurring naturally. The best source for us is wild salmon, and they contain natural astaxanthin. But it's really hard just to get it enough from eating wild salmon. You know, the average American eats two pounds a year, which only amounts to about 11 milligrams of astaxanthin for the whole year. And we recommend four to six milligrams for eye health and muscle health a day. So you really do need to supplement with this nutrient. It's a little bit hard to get in our from diet alone. Alan, Don Allen, good morning. Thanks for holding. On astaxanthin, I see I'm allergic to vitamin C even because of the acidic form, even the buffered form. Can I take that in, in, instead of the vitamin C? First of all, we have over 40 safety studies showing no adverse events. And unless you have something like a shellfish allergy, you may want to ask your primary care physician about it, but otherwise it shouldn't be an issue. The other thing is astaxanthin is a fat-soluble antioxidant, whereas vitamin C is a water-soluble 
antioxidant. The difference is you can actually store astaxanthin in your body for a couple of days compared to um, vitamin C, which is eliminated really quickly. The advantage of having a fat-soluble antioxidant is that it can actually get into your cells and get into those mitochondrial membranes where the free radicals are formed. Is there a maximum dosage on the astaxanthin for a day? Right. The maximum recommended dosage is 12 milligrams a day in the U.S., and that's regulated by the FDA. Um, but we've done, like I said, more than 40 safety studies, and we've found no uh, adverse events up to 45 milligrams a day. Although, of course, we don't recommend you take that much. It's not necessary. You won't even be able to absorb that much. And, and that's part of the reason that astaxanthin is so safe, safe is because whatever you can't absorb just gets eliminated. And so there's no um, known harmful effects based so on... So it, it doesn't have a, a, a bad effect on your cholesterol. It would not raise your cholesterol level. Actually, it's interesting you mentioned that. We have uh, some studies at 12 milligrams a day that shows it actually can improve your blood lipid profile, increasing that good cholesterol, the HDL, that helps to clear the bad cholesterol from your bloodstream and also decreasing uh, triglyceride levels. Well, very good. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate your information, and you guys are wonderful. Keep up the good work. All right. Thanks, Al. Have a great day. Um, Lorenzo in Ocala. Good morning, Lorenzo. Good morning, Dr. Lang, and your guests as well. Um, I'm a a two-year user of uh, Focus. There are some things I've noticed. Hair growth, nail growth. My joints feel better. I do have arthritis. And I wondered, uh, are those some of the uh, virtues uh, also of the uh, ingredients of Focus? I actually have many rheumatologists, my dad being one, uh, that likes astaxanthin. uh, Because remember, it's a potent anti-inflammatory. So that can help with inflammation. And, you know, I imagine it helps with inflammation in the entire body. So therefore, the joints. However, I'm going to let Dr. Heck chime in. Well, actually, we do see some skin benefits, specifically with astaxanthin, also at about 6 milligrams a day, which is what you've been taking. Astaxanthin actually can help protect the skin from environmental factors that normally cause inflammation that triggers, um, you know, matrix metalloproteases that degrade collagen. So you're actually helping the skin condition, uh, helping to retain moisture in the skin, And that may be contributing to uh, your scalp health as well. It's possible. The brand is very important. And, of course, we're promoting Asteril. This is the company uh, that the doctor works for. It is the brand that I use. Be very careful with the type of astaxanthin you're getting. My recommendation is make sure it says Asteril on it because this is the most studied brand out there, and it was one of two that didn't have any pollutants in it. Right, so it's interesting, you know, we we get astaxanthin from this algae that we grow. So algae is like a crop, think of it that way. Where you grow it and how you grow it really makes a difference on the quality of the final product. So we actually grow grow ours in an indoor closed photobioreactor system, which means that we actually are able to filter the air that the algae breathe as well as the water in which the algae grow. And this removes any kind of persistent air pollutants that may exist if you're growing your algae outdoors, which, you know, is one of the other common ways of growing the algae. And these air pollutants can actually be quite harmful to health if they reach certain high levels. Um, Some of them are polyaromatic hydrocarbons, are known carcinogens. So we do want to limit our exposure to those. Nita, good morning. Welcome to the program. I've been seeing commercials about krill oil. Mm-hmm. Having astaxanthin, is there enough in there to help me? Should I be taking krill oil? Krill has astaxanthin in it, has phospholipids in it, but it has micrograms of astaxanthin. To, so in my opinion, to get the benefits that you see, say, in Fortify Focus with six milligrams, you're not going to get in krill at all. Right. So in terms of uh, the astaxanthin content, I did the math once, and I think it was something like, of the astaxanthin content you're supposed to get daily based on a 6-milligram dose. 
Let's expand a little bit more on computer vision syndrome. The lutein and the zeaxanthin help combat against the blue light coming from the computer screen, and the astaxanthin goes into the ciliary muscle, helping to reduce eye strain and eye fatigue. I got to brag a little bit, and people have heard me talk about this before. I'm 56 years old. I don't need reading glasses. I'm reading all of this in front of me. I've been on this for five or six years now. Uh, when I was 50, I needed reading glasses. I needed some help. So I know it works. So it really is a perfect combination, don't you think, to have lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin in one supplement for computer users. I absolutely agree. Um, and, you know, the, the things that we've seen in our clinical studies with astereal astaxanthin have shown that we can not only improve the near point of accommodation, like you mentioned, but also the reaction time. So we actually have a, an interesting study in a handball team where they were testing their depth perception, too. So that looks at how quickly can you change focus and how accurately can you tell depth perception. And the handball team that was supplementing with astaxanthin were actually to, able to improve their accuracy in the depth perception test. And we do have studies that show increase or improvement um, in both the amplitude, the range of focus, as well as the near point of focus. So that's really um, going to help with focusing on digital screens um, for longer, making your muscles more resilient. And I'm sorry we couldn't get to other people. That's the music. I want to thank Dr. Heck and the gang at Astoreal for being a guest on Ask the Doctor. It's been fabulous. you got to come back and we'll do it again. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening. Uh, stay out of trouble. God bless you. And I'm out of here.